Hello guys and welcome back. It has been so long since I made a Pokemon Yellow 4. I don't know, I don't know how long it's been guys, but it's been so long. Since our last episode, Stu grew up to level 10. You know, he's just growing up so fast, you know? And he learned Low Kick, which is what I've been waiting for. Very cool. In this episode, we're gonna just roam around Pewter City and we're gonna see what's going on with Pewter City, you know? So we're gonna head into this house first. And what do you have to say? Pokemon learn new techniques as they grow. But some moves must be taught by the trainer. Indeed, indeed. Pokemon become easier to catch when they are hurt or asleep. But it's not a sure thing. Damn. That is some good knowledge right there. So guys, I, 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 it's great to be back, guys, you know. I, I'm i back in LP, guys, what can I say? I'm, I don't know what you're doing, by the way. I just said yes because I felt tempted to. I'm spraying the pelt to keep Pokemon out of my garden. God damn it. Alright. But I just, I took a break, guys, and it was a, it was a well-needed break, you know, I beat a couple games, you know, it's always cool. Um, you know, I didn't record them, you know, I didn't stream them, you know, because I do the streaming thing on Justin.tv, which is really cool. So, that's always nice. But, you know, guys, I'm back, and I'm better, you know, guys, and I, I also have a new channel, starting off fresh, called the Goldfish LPs. That's gonna be awesome. It's awesome, guys. You know, I started my first Let's Play yesterday. I started Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. You guys should definitely check that out. And I'm going to have a secondary LP, which is very cool. And that my second LP, secondary LP, will be uploaded on Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. Hopefully, I can get that, keep that schedule. But you know, the schedule varies on how busy I am. Shady old man, really. By this really weird fish Pokemon, and it cost me 500 Poke Dollars. Oh man, you got chipped off, noob. <laughs> Alright, this is the Mart. I bet you all have forgotten what the Mart actually is. Um, I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy. Absolutely nothing. What do I have in my inventory? I have three potions, five Pokeballs. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna buy some more Pokeballs. No, not Pokeballs, potions. Go away. I'm gonna buy three. So now I have six potions. But now I don't have a lot of Pokeballs. God damn it. Alright, let's get out of here. So now what we plan to do is we're gonna go to the museum. The museum is an awesome place. For 15 Pokedollars, which is basically nothing, you can come and see the museum. You can talk to this guy too. $50 to talk to this guy. That is one magnificent fossil. Let's take a look. Wow. Damn. That fossil looks a boot. Aerodactyl fossil. A primi primitive, pri 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 primitive and rare Pokemon. I don't even know what that means. That's a big word. And a Kabutops fossil. A primitive bi 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 fossil. So, we have a space exhibit now. Now, excuse me, guys, if I'm a little, uh, if I'm a little quiet in this episode because people are sleeping and I'm trying not to wake them up, but I probably am. July 20th. Oh my god! Today's July 20th! Oh my god! Oh my god! To oh fuck, today's June 20th. I failed. Anyways, first lunar landing. I bought a color TV to just to watch it. What's over here? A meteorite that fell on Mount Moon. Moonstone? What the fuck is a Moonstone? We have a space exhibit now. Oh my god, space exhibit. Space shuttle, Columbia. I I want a Pikachu. It's so cute. That's my daddy to catch me one. I'd like to get uh, that Pikachu off you. But it's too attached to you. Yep, that's right. I believe if he's in, like, red and blue versions, he's like, Oh, yeah, that's right, a Pikachu. It's coming right up. So anyways, let's exit the museum. And guys, there's only one more thing left to do in Pewter City. And that is to leave. We're just going to leave. 
See ya. Peter City sucks. You're a trainer, right? Brock's looking for new challengers. Follow me. Oh! How could I forget the most important thing in any city? A oh, gem battle. If you have the right stuff, go take on Brock. And then he just walks away. And then it's like, where the fuck did you go? Holy shit! What the fuck? He disappeared! Ah. Let's go in the gym. So anyways, this is a good chance for your end to get some training in. And then Mankey will also get some training in, so that is really nice. Stop right there, kid! You are still light years from facing Brock. And this is one of my favorite people in the game. Because he has one of my favorite sayings in the world. And I have no idea why it's one of my favorite sayings in the world. It's not even that funny. He's probably my second favorite character in this game. Just because he's pretty freaking awesome. I mean, did you see the picture of him? I bet he has a girlfriend. Only, only cool dudes like that have girlfriends. And obviously, not me. That Diglett's awesome. I love Diglett. Diglett's are awesome. And he grew to level 11. That's always nice. And he's going to send out Sandshrew. And I'm actually going to send out Stew. And I forgot I actually named a Mankey Stew. And I was like, what am I doing? I'm naming a Mankey Stew? So I'm going to use Low Kick and see what that does. That actually does some decent damage. So I'm going to... Stick with low kick for right now and miss. Yes, miss. So that is always nice when you always miss. Sarcasm. Oh. So low kick one more time. The Sancho should be dead. Deader than dead. And then Stu will not grow any levels, but I did win some money. Let's check out a new challenge this place. Pewter City, Pokemon Gym, Leader Brock. Winning trainers, Blatty! That mother of an asshole! Asshole, Blatty! You're an asshole! I can just picture him now, him and his Blatty self, and his Blatty hair, and his Blatty mustache. Yeah, his Blatty mustache. Anyways, we're gonna heal up at the Pokemon Center, and then we're gonna actually attempt to take on Brock, even though I don't think I have a chance in all heal. I might, you know, I might. Mankey, Mankey could pull through for me, you know, I don't know. But hopefully I can get Mankey to level up, you know. I was actually doing a Nuzlocke run. If you guys don't know what a Nuzlocke run is, is it's if your Pokemon dies or faints, it dies. You have to release it. Like, I was doing a Nuzlocke run, and then, like, it was a race, too. I was racing my friend, and, you know, Mankey grew level 9, and I was already falling behind. He learned low kick, and I was like, crap, I gotta get back. So I learned low kick, and I died. Brock murdered me. He, like, absolutely murdered me. Stu is in front, so that is good. So I'm gonna talk to Brock, and I probably should have saved. I advise you save before you actually do this. I'm not smart, so that's why I didn't save. So, you be a smart person, you save. But anyways, we get to hear the epic gym leader music. And every time I hear this music, it's like a bunch of nostalgia to the chest. That's what it was just like just now. I couldn't believe that actually just happened. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and use low kick on this Geodude. That should probably do half. Yeah, that was about half. By the way, I believe low kick is a move where the heavier your opponent, the stronger this move actually is. So anyway, Stu's gonna grow to level 11, which is absolutely perfect. Stu, you are the man. And unfortunately, after this battle, we're not even going to be using Stu anymore. So he's going to be getting all this experience and bind. I fucking hate bind. Bind! Fuck you, Onyx. Fuck you. You know, if this Onyx just keeps using bind, then I really don't stand a chance. This thing's just going to fucking take me out, man. Fucking take me out. Take me out tonight. Anyways, Onyx, if you want to stop using... You can use Tackle! That is okay, you can use Tackle. Okay. So, I'm gonna a little... 
trouble here, so I'm gonna use my potion, you know. This is actually going a lot better than I actually had hoped. And crap, Onyx is using Bind. If you don't know what Bind is, Bind is a move that actually takes three turns to pull off. And what it does is the amount of damage that you do to Onyx while it's in Bind mode, it'll unleash energy, but it'll triple of the damage you did to Onyx. So let's say I did 3 damage with a scratch attack or something, then Onyx will come back and fucking wreck shit up with a 9 spot, man. He's gonna fucking kill me or not, I'm gonna kill him. Stu will get it. Awesome stuff. As proof of your victory, here's the boulder badge. Chase received the boulder badge. Yeah, yeah. It's an, unof it's an official Pokemon League badge. Barrett's Pokemon become more powerful. The technique Flash cannot be used any time. Chase got $1,188 for winning. Yeah. Wait, take this with you. And he will give us TM34. And it contains... Bide. He doesn't tell you, but it does contain Bide. And Bide is actually a very useful move if you actually do it. I remember I would always sell it and get some money off it. But it's actually a pretty useful move. It to one of my Pokemon, but I don't even think anybody can learn it except Mankey. I bet you Mankey can learn it, but we're not even going to be using Mankey. I mean, I'm going to keep him in my party, but we're not really going to be using him. Um, one thing with wild Pokemon battles, I think I said this before, I'm going to be using repels because wild Pokemon battles are kind of annoying. I believe you can use repels after you beat Brock. After you beat Brock, you can pick up repels. I believe. I I at least think I can remember being repels. I mean, they have that guy in the garden advertising repels. So I'm actually going to buy some repels, and then I'm actually going to call it a video. So that'll be cool. So please be selling some repels, dude. And you are not selling any repels. So screw you, dude. Screw you. I'm actually going to buy... One escape rope, because you actually get another escape rope for free in there. So if I ever need to get out and heal, I'll have an escape rope and I can just, you know, get out and get back in. So anyways, as you can see, the guy's gone, so now we can advance. So, in the next episode, we will advance. Seems I've been stealing Pokemon fossils at Mount Moon. Please call Pewter Police. With any info. Damn. We will be heading out that away in the next episode, so stay tuned. Pikachu, what do you have to say? I think he said bye. So I'll see you guys later.